Well, I'm here at the front of the Apple Store in Sydney, Australia. It's been absolute bedlam. People have camped out overnight in the rain to get their first look at the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. It's been bedlam. I'm going to jump inside and get my hands on a couple. I'm going to road test it for you today and see if it's worth the wait. of interviews inside there's so much excitement around this new iphone update it is crazy and the great thing for you is i've got not only a 6s but a 6s plus we're going to zip back to the hotel room we're going to put some camera tests together for both of these and see how they fare see you back there all right i'm back in the hotel room i've had a chance to have a quick look at the 6s and the 6s plus and i've got to tell you i'm pretty excited Straight out of the box, they look largely the same, both the 6S and the 6S Plus. When you compare it to the old 6 and 6 Plus, they pretty much look the same. They, they feel the same, same sort of weight, same sort of size. Um, in fact, even laid side by side, they look pretty much the same. I think that the, the differences in the measurements are only incremental and even you know, laid straight on top of one another. You'd be hard pressed to be able to pick the difference. But that's pretty good because what that actually means is that most of your accessories, um, such as cases, lenses, all those sorts of things, I think should work perfectly fine on both the 6S and the 6S Plus. So that's a huge bonus already. Now, thankfully, both the 6S and the 6S Plus benefit from mostly the same type of innovations in regards to camera technology, um, bar one huge difference, which I'll mention at the end. And this is really going to be the kicker as to whether you decide to purchase a 6S or a 6S Plus. So you're going to have to stick with the video to find out what that is. So one of the main innovations to kick off with is obviously a 12 megapixel sensor, okay? Now this sensor is ironically the same size sensor as what was in the previous iPhone 6. However, they've built in this, what they call deep trench isolation, which I guess in plain English means um, you're gonna get sharper image capture, less color smear, um, and reduce crosstalk between um, the color receptacles, which basically means that colors are gonna reproduce more sharply. It's quite spectacular. There's also a brand new ISP, which is an image signal processor. This gives us better tone mapping and far less noise to what we've seen previously in iPhone imagery. There's a long awaited 4K video mode, okay, which we've all been hanging out for. It is spectacular. I'm gonna show you some examples of that shortly. We also benefit from a full HD FaceTime camera, okay, which is what I'm recording this particular clip on now. So this is now in full HD. It was 720p previously. So a fantastic step up in resolution just for the FaceTime camera alone. Of course, there's now stabilized time-lapse, which is another huge leap forward. You no longer need a tripod to record fantastic time-lapse sequences. You can do it handheld, you can walk around, you can be in a car. I'm gonna show you some examples of that in just a moment. And last but not least, the slow motion mode now gives us in 120 frames per second mode, full HD quality, okay? Now the difference between HD and 720p in slow motion is actually quite staggering. I'm gonna show an example of that in a second as well. Okay, so first little test I'm gonna show you here is this nice little skyline shot here showing some buildings in blue sky. You can see between the 6 Plus and the 6S Plus that we just get a sharper reproduction in the colors. There's less noise in the sky. Uh, it's just doing a lot more work than what it was previously to get that image looking nice and crisp and clean. Okay, the new 4K video mode completely blows this away. Have a look at the 6 Plus here in standard HD. And then another example of the 6S Plus rendering in 4K. Now this video you're watching is probably not rendered out in 4K, but I'm gonna put a link up to show you the, the 4K file on YouTube so you can click to it and see the actual difference between a full HD and full 4K file. Okay, the stabilized time lapse is where this thing comes alive. Now, in this case, I've done a nighttime shot where I've just done a walk around the block with both a 6 Plus and a 6S Plus. And I'm sure you can agree that even though I haven't put a lot of love into the actual shot, um, that there is obviously a difference between both um, shots, that there is so much more uh, smoothness going on in the 6S Plus than in the previous 6 Plus. Um, and uh, you can see that you, you don't necessarily need to have a tripod now to get uh, a fantastic time-lapse clip together. Here's another example in the daytime. Again, just walking around, nothing to stabilize the shot. We're just holding both cameras side by side and this is the difference in reproduction. Now the 120 frame per second slow-mo now being HD on the 6 Plus. Check this out. 
On the left here, we've got the 6 Plus, which is the standard 720 uh, pixel mode on uh, slow-mo, 120 frames per second. On the right there, we've got the new HD version of the 120 frame per second slow-mo mode from the 6S Plus. And you can see there's a lot more sharpness in the image, uh, less strobing in lights. It's just a way better image all around. So of course, in wrap up, the burning question on the end of everyone's lips right now is, is it worth the update? Is it worth updating now or do you wait for the whole new iPhone 7 to come out sometime next year? Uh, ordinarily, I would normally say you wait for the whole new iPhone to come out, right? But uh, purely, look, based on the optical image stabilization system alone and the 4K functionality, um, the new chipset, I would absolutely say go now. Um, as a uh, smartphone cinematographer, there is enough developed in the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus, which is my favorite, to uh, make that leap forward. So there you have it, that's my wrap, that's my update on the new launch of the 6S and the 6S Plus. Hopefully you've enjoyed this first peek into things. We're lucky here in Australia that we're one of the first Apple stores in the world to actually gain access um, to these new models. And I hope you've enjoyed what I brought to you today. Now I'm gonna bring you more clips um, over the course of this week as I shoot them to give you some before and after examples between different models. So remember to subscribe and follow Pocket Film Academy. Stay connected with all those clips. And of course, if you've got any questions that you'd like me to help answer, feel free to add a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you then too. Cheers.